You guys, the time is finally here. We are starting the 31 days of Halloween today and we're kicking it off with a bang. I'm gonna be showing you how to create this beautiful white glam sugar skull. And the first thing we're gonna do is start with our eyes. So I'm just using a little bit of brown eyeshadow to define my crease. We're gonna be doing a little bit of like a half cut crease here. So I'm keeping the shadow nice and high, making sure I really define my crease with these medium to darker brown colors. I will make sure to have all of the products that I used today listed in the description box down below. The great thing about this look, you guys, is that it's so easy. There's not any like groundbreaking colors, so you can really just use whatever you have in your collection. What I'm doing right here is just taking a little bit of concealer on a concealer brush and carving out the first about two thirds of my eye so that we have a really, really sharp cut crease. I'm going back in with a little bit of that dark brown shadow just to make sure the gradient is still there and we didn't lose any color. Right here I'm going in with a very, very white icy highlighter. It almost kind of like airs on the gold side. And then with my finger I'm just patting on a little bit more of a shimmery gold shadow to create that gradient into the outer crease. Going back in with that fluffy brush that had the dark brown shadow on it, I'm just going to be going over the edge to make sure we are completely blended on the outer corner. Once I'm sure we're completely blended, I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of a highlight underneath my brow bone, and then we are going to move on to the rest of the face highlighting. Again, I'm using that really icy white highlighter because I wanted a super intense highlight. Since there's gonna be so much detail on my face, I really wanted to make sure that my highlight popped through so you could still see that I was completely lit up and glowing. So before we get into all that, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of the Urban Decay All Nighter and we are going to get into drawing our Sugar Skull's mouth. This is such a fun part of creating any skull look is creating the teeth and kind of allowing the skull to take shape. So right here, I'm just using my Mayron Paradise paints. I get a lot of questions every year about what body paint I use to create these looks. That's what it is. Again, I'll have stuff linked down below, but I'm just using a small little lip brush to create these teeth and I'm kind of creating that shape and then dragging the product upwards almost to create a little bit of a feathered triangle. You can keep this as close to your actual mouth shape as you would like. You could just stop right here and call it a day, or you could take the teeth all the way back to your cheekbones, hairline, whatever. That's what I usually choose to do because I like a really toothy skull. I like that to be a really big standout piece of the makeup. So that's what I usually go for. As you get further and further away from your mouth though, I would recommend trying to I don't know, you could draw a line if you wanted to, or just visually imagine in your head where the edge of your smile would go if it was going to go back. So as you can see, I tried my best to stay kind of as close to that outer edge as I could. All right, on to the nose. No pressure, but I feel like this could really make or break the look. So what I usually do is I take two parts of the nose kind of on either side of the bridge and I feather them up and then just around the tip of my nose, just do like a cute little circle and try to make it like, I don't know, if you could imagine like a flame, the way it goes up, kind of try to do that with the top part of the nose. That's kind of the best way I could like verbally explain it to you guys without just having you watch. Now onto the best part of Sugar Skulls, the detail. Right here, you could get super creative. You could do anything your heart desires, and that's what I just think is so fun. I wanted to keep it somewhat traditional because I think the original Sugar Skulls are just so incredibly beautiful, but I also, you know, just kind of wanted to put my own spin on it with the rhinestones and all that fun stuff. So I'm just kind of creating a little upside down flower right here. I would definitely recommend using a small concealer brush or some type of small lip brush like I'm using because it just makes it so incredibly easy to create the details that you want to create. There are so many things to love about Sugar Skull makeup, but the eyes are just classic. And I wanted to create something really beautiful and somewhat girly, so I used the white paint to kind of keep it glam. Um, I'm just creating these little half circle type shapes at the top with the same brush that I've been using. So at this point, I have to be completely honest, I was kind of just winging it and wanted to do something that would be flattering on my face shape. So I wanted to bring this triangle down to kind of bring the focus down towards the eyes. 
um, I'm kind of creating these little like frilly lines off the top and then just some little I don't know I like I said I was totally just winging it here but um, yeah that's what I came up with for the forehead <laughs> so right now what I'm doing is just taking some brown eyeshadow and I'm going to be placing that around the inner part of the eye around the nose really anywhere that I want the white to pop which is like kind of everywhere <laughs> so when you go in and add shadow it's gonna make it look a little bit more 3d it's also going to make any of the lighter colors pop so that's what I'm doing here I'm also going throughout the teeth this was very tedious but I feel like it makes such a difference in the look so I'm just creating a shadow in between every single tooth I also created a little shadow between the teeth on that line and I'm just using a very small little detail brush to do this Similar to my forehead, I didn't really know what I was going to do for my chin, so I just kind of was going with triangle shapes. That's kind of what I did here. Uh, I didn't really know what I was doing. I'm just kind of kind of doing the thing and seeing how it turns out. So I was just, you know, adding my shadows and doing that whole thing here. So I am just adding some of these open circles around the rest of the eye. I did the closed ones at the top and I thought it would be really pretty to kind of make it look almost lace-like underneath the eye. And I decided to add a few little open ones at the top just for a little bit more detail. And then I'm adding a few circles right here. This is again really where you can kind of get creative. I wanted to kind of give this a look of lace. That's kind of what I was going for, but you can just do whatever your little heart desires. Right here is where I really decided to go crazy with detail. So at this point, I was kind of planning where I wanted to put all of my rhinestones. So anywhere I was going to place a stone, I wanted to bring a little bit more detail to that area. So underneath my eye, I kind of created that little three tier pointing downwards. I'm gonna pop a stone there. Same with on my chin, I was putting these little diamond shapes in knowing that I was gonna place a rhinestone above and just generally creating any detail that I wanted to add. So the next part was completely an accident. I started drawing that dot on my, I guess it's your left, my right eye. And I got a little paint in my eyebrow and I was like, how do I fix this? And I was like, okay, let's just make the eyebrows white. So that was a happy accident. <laughs> and right now I am just adding a little bit of gold on a tooth because why not? I'm gonna have a little, a little batty sugar skull girl, you know what I mean? I wish I would have used like a glitter liner instead of a lip gloss though. So note for you guys if you recreate this. Um, the longevity of a glitter liner would definitely be better than a lip gloss. So now I am just popping on some lashes to kind of complete our look. The lash just brings everything together. Now for the fun part, I have a few stones that I'm just going to pop on anywhere that I feel like it needs it. I have this really big, beautiful stone on the forehead that I just felt like brought so much life to the look. Some little stones for the top, you know, underneath the eyes, on the chin. I even added a few little gold stones to the teeth. So I just had a lot of fun with it. I went for it. I just wanted this to be super blingy and glam and beautiful. And I feel like that is exactly what I got. So that is it for this look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and are excited for the 30 days of, uh, 30 days. I keep saying 30 days. It's 31. 30 days was the first time I did this series. You get 31. So here we go. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> okay, if you guys missed the announcement video, I just launched my official merch website. We've got all kinds of limited edition Halloween merch for you guys to get us all in the spirit. We're in the same year. I'm so excited about it. So many of you guys have already picked up a bunch of things. I can't wait to see the Spooky Squad rocking the merch, and I'm going to be reposting some of your pictures. So if you pick something up, 
Make sure you don't forget to send me the picture with the hashtag spooky squad. And I'm going to be checking out your pictures and reposting you guys. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.